So here we have the England World Cup squad 2018. And there's there's a few inclusions that I'm not too happy about. Uh, there's a few inclusions that I'm very pleasantly surprised about. So here's the 23-man squad. We'll start with the goalkeepers here. And we've got Pickford, Butland and Pope. And they are the three I would have chosen. I think it's a perfect choice. Pickford likely to be first choice. Uh, be a toss-up between him and Butland for the number one spot. Uh, Nick Pope as well. There was a bit of um, a bit of a debate on whether Pope should go or Joe Hart. A lot of people were saying uh, Pope definitely on form this season. Joe Hart has done nothing this season to merit his inclusion into the squad, but a lot of experts and pundits were saying that uh, Joe Hart should be in the squad, but he's not, and I think that's a perfect choice. So there's nothing really to say on the goalkeepers. Uh, I'm happy with I'm happy with Jordan Pickford being the number one going into the tournament. I think out of what we've got, he's our best chance. I uh, I wouldn't say he's world class yet, but I think he's certainly got a lot of potential. He's he's been good for Everton this season. He's been probably their only saving grace uh, in what's been a... Well, it's not been a terrible season for Everton, but it's been... Um, the fans have been a bit disgruntled with their performances. So let's move on to the defenders. What I'm a bit baffled about, we've got three left wing backs here and we've got three right wing backs. Where's the other one? Walker Trippier and Alexander-Arnold. Uh, for left wing backs, Rose, Young and Delph. Now, I like to... I mean, obviously I'm not, but if I was England manager, I would have one backup for each position. There's no point in taking six wing backs when there's only going to be two wing backs in the squad. You need four wing backs. So... And especially looking at how thin other areas of a squad are, where I'm, I'm, I'm going to come up to them soon. Alexander Arnold, I think this might be a bit too soon for him. I wouldn't have taken him. He's had a good season with Liverpool, but I think he's more one for the future. And if you look at his his competition, you've got uh, Kyle Walker, who definitely should be first choice, or even Kieran Trippier. I think. Those two fully justified selections, but Alexander Arnold, I'm not too sure. Walker has played in a back three um, as a centre back for England. I don't know why. Yeah, he's he's played okay there, but he is a right wing back. That's where he plays for Manchester City, and that's where he should play for England. The left wing backs we've got Rose, Young, and Delph. I, I think Ashley Young. Even though he's he's 32, is he fully deserves his place? He's had a brilliant season with Manchester United. Um, Danny Rose, he's a very good player. He's been injured a lot this season, but when he's been available, he's been uh, he's he's been an important player. And Fabian Delph, I think out for three, he's more being carried by the Manchester City squad. A uh, bit of a weak link, if you like. Yeah, he's he's been. He's been pretty solid for them, but um, I just don't think that England need him with Rose and Young ahead of him. And I think we're, he's very lucky to have had as many games as he's had with uh, Mendy injured. So I think definitely Rose and Young should be uh, should be on the plane. But Delph, uh, Alexander-Arnold and Delph, I wouldn't have picked them, if I'm honest. So that's... Out of nine so far, there's just two that I wouldn't have taken, so not too bad. Now let's move on to the centre backs. We're not going going to include Eric Dyer because he's more of a central midfielder. We've got we've got four: Cahill, Jones, Stones, and Maguire. Now. You know they're not for when you compare them to the likes of Terry, Ferdinand, Campbell, uh, and considering Carragher couldn't get in the team for a number of years, it's a very poor quartet of centre backs for a team that 
we should be aiming at least for quarter finals. I, I think with this squad, we're going to struggle to get past that. I think, let's start with Harry Maguire. I think out of all of them, he's fully justified his selection. Uh, standout performer. I think he should be starting for England. Uh, he's only going to get better. He's progressed season on season with Hull and Leicester. He's, he's been fantastic. John Stones has had a bit of an indifferent season. He's been kept out for Manchester City's team. Uh, if he played for a team like Everton, would he still be in the squad? I'm not too sure. Phil Jones, other than his injuries, he's been great. Uh, it's just his injuries. But he has uh, played quite a number of games for United this season. And I think his selection is justified. Then we've got Gary Cahill, who struggled to get in the Chelsea team. I think he is very lucky to be in this squad. And someone like Chris Smalling, who's not in the squad at all, should be ahead of Gary Cahill, in my opinion. I would definitely have taken Smalling, Jones, Harry Maguire. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure about John Stones, to be honest. Either Stones or give Tarkovsky a chance. The only pr uh, problem I'd have with Tarkovsky Kovsky is that would he be as good in a in a different team and formation? He, he's very good at Burnley, playing alongside me and with Pope behind him, but around different players, it, can, can he make that step up? And that would be my concern. So I possibly would keep John Stones in there, but certainly to start, I mean I wouldn't be playing three centre backs. Uh, I'd be playing Maguire and and Jones. Probably as for starting centre backs on Maguire and Smalling. Um, I think Maguire has been our standout centre back, but no, a very poor quartet of defenders, whoever Southgate uh, decided to take. So we've covered for centre backs, we've covered all the defenders. Let's get on to the midfielders. Central midfielders. And we've actually only got three. That is very worrying. Yes, you could say Ali could go back, but he's more of an attacking midfielder. And Delph was a central midfielder, but he's been playing more as wing-back. So we've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Jordan Henderson and Eric Dyer. For me, this is by far the weakest position on the pitch. And for core going down for middle, it's very, very weak for England. And that is going to be where our downfall is. Jordan Henderson, out of what we've got... Yes, I think uh, his selection is justified. It's a big, big shame that Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is injured because the combination of Henderson and Chamberlain, you know, it, it could have worked well for England. But it's a big blow that Chamberlain's out. Um, and I think Southgate should have done... I, I don't know if he has been on the phone to James Milner, but he should have done all he could to try and get James Milner to reverse his decision of retirement because Milner would have been by far a better selection than any, any of these central midfielders. So we're, we're going to be having two central midfielders. Henderson, uh, Eric Dyer. you know, he's a, he's a good player, but if we're going to be wanting to win tournaments, should he be starting alongside Henderson? It doesn't inspire you. There's not really any attacking intent between the two of them. They're both more defensive-minded players. And then Ruben Loftus-Cheek, he's more of a wild card. And I can accept his inclusion into the squad out of what we've got. Um, look at the fullbacks, for example. Take Alexander-Arnold out, take Delph out, and add two more central midfielders, or at least one. Someone like John Joe Shelby, yes, he's been a little bit overhyped recently, but I think putting John Joe Shelby in this squad... Yeah, a forward-thinking player, got a good eye for a pass. He, sh he should be on the plane. He can feel quite hard done by. Um, get James Milner out of retirement. Whether that would be possible, I don't know. But there should be, you know, central midfield, a very weak position. And Jack Wilshire, he could have gone, but he's been injured. Um, I, I still probably would have included him because he's had a good run of games for Arsenal this season and considering our options in central midfield uh, 
I would have brought probably Wilshire and Shelby in place of Alexander Arnold and Delph. So we move on now to the more attacking forwards. Deli Alley, Jesse Lingard, Raheem Sterling. Uh, they're the four forwards. We'll come on to them after. Uh, Deli Alley, yes, 100%. He should be on the plane. One of our best players. He gets a lot of stick. He dives a bit, but he's one of our best players, and he should definitely be in for starting 11. Lingard. A brilliant season. He should, for me, should be a starter in that forward line. Uh, being brilliant for Manchester United, hundred percent should be in the starting eleven. And same for Raheem Sterling, who scored eighteen league goals for what, arguably the best team for that English football has ever seen. So Raheem Sterling, Lingard, and Ali. I'm very happy with that forward line uh, of attacking midfielders. So. That that's not not the issue at all. I I think they're fully justified. And Marcus Rashford can come off the bench, for for any of these three. Uh, fully justified inclusion for him. Danny Welbeck. He can be. He can consider himself a very very lucky man. He, I don't think he's done anything to justify being on the plane, and. You know, I, I can understand we're, we're lacking in forward options, but he could have picked uh, someone else. Like who? Well, that, that's a that's a good question. But if we're only playing one striker, we've got Harry Kane, our best player, 100% of the plane. Jamie Vardy, 100%. Uh, these two, fantastic, fantastic forwards. So uh, I wouldn't have included Danny Welbeck. I wouldn't have included anyone like Jermaine Defoe or Andy Carroll either. Um, so yeah, that would be one up for debate. Maybe bring in a lower league striker. I don't know. But um, overall, it's I'm happy with some of the selections. Out of 23 players, I wouldn't be taking Welbeck. I wouldn't be taking uh, Delph. I wouldn't be taking um, I would be uh, Cahill. Wouldn't be taking Alexander Arnold. So that's four out of twenty-three that I wouldn't be taking, and I would replace them with Jack Wilshire. If John, if if James Milner's not available, John Joe Shelby. Chris Smalling and another forward. Now, out of the top of my head, my mind's got a bit blank of who could replace Welbeck, but I certainly uh, wouldn't be taking Welbeck. Mind you, I wouldn't be taking Daniel Sturridge either. But that's one up for debate. Let me know in the comments section how you feel. Maybe someone like Callum Wilson, even. You know, could he do any worse than... Danny Welbeck has got a good previous record for England. Could have even taken Peter Crouch, but um, no. So let me know what you think in the comments section. I'll be interested to hear what you think. And yeah, I look forward to hearing your thoughts.